Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can separate yourself from everyone else looking to break into cybersecurity. Now, the current demand for cybersecurity professionals is extremely high, but at the same time, you're facing a lot of competition from other people looking to land their first job in cybersecurity. In this video, I'm going to walk you guys through different resources and priorities that you guys need to use in order to get yourself ahead of everyone else and ultimately land your first job in cybersecurity. If you guys are new to the channel, my my name is Ben and I make videos about cybersecurity and my journey in the industry. So if you guys want to learn more and follow the journey, go ahead and subscribe and join the family. Also, if you want some more short form content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at CyberWithBen. So first off, let's talk about hard skills. What are some of the most important things that you need to learn in the beginning of your career in order to differentiate yourself from everyone else? These skills are going to be the starting point of your career and your learning journey, and they're extremely important to start off on the right foot. So first off, you need to prioritize getting a really good foundational understanding of networking concepts. Some examples of fundamental networking concepts include understanding TCP, UDP, how data is transferred, how computers communicate within a network to each other, how firewalls work, different protocols and different ports and what they do. Now, all of these fundamental concepts that I just mentioned are all covered under the CompTIA Network Plus certification. I think if you're someone who is new when it comes to computers, technology and IT, I think starting off with the Network Plus is going to be a great way for you to establish a solid foundation and understanding of networking concepts and then move forward with learning cybersecurity concepts. So a lot of these things that you'll learn when it comes to entry level certifications like the Network Plus, Security Plus and so on, they're going to be a theoretical certification. So you're not going to get a lot of hands on experience. And that's what I'm going to be talking about a little bit later on in the video. So once you get a good foundational understanding of networking concepts through the Network Plus and through your own learning, what you want to do next is start getting a foundational understanding of different cybersecurity concepts through certifications like the Security Plus certification. This way you start to get a more foundational understanding of multiple cybersecurity concepts. The Security Plus covers so many different areas in cybersecurity. So it's going to be a great way for you, especially someone who is a beginner, to really learn a bunch of new concepts. Now, once you have a foundational understanding of networking and cybersecurity concepts, the next step in order to differentiate yourself from everyone else is going to be starting to get some hands-on experience with different popular tools used in cybersecurity. Now, depending on what you're looking for when it comes to cybersecurity jobs, whether it be in the defensive side of things, offensive, or something else, you want to select and learn and understand which tools that these jobs are requiring. And from there, getting a basic understanding of what that tool does how it works and how to use it. Some examples of popular tools used in cybersecurity include Splunk, Wireshark, and Burp Suite, just to name a few. Now, in addition to learning how these tools work and what they do, one other thing you can start working on is developing your basic scripting skills using Python and Bash in order to automate different tasks. Scripting is a pretty important skill to have when it comes to cybersecurity because first of all, you're able to read and understand code, and second of all, you're able to automate different tasks. And these can come in handy because a lot of these companies are always looking for ways to work more efficiently and automate different repetitive tasks. And having this skill set and capability, especially as a beginner in cybersecurity, is really going to differentiate yourself from everyone else. Next on the list is going to be building a foundational understanding of different operating systems like Windows and Linux. This could mean getting a basic understanding of the file system of Windows, understanding Windows security and the different capabilities that that has to offer, Windows Defender, things of that nature, getting familiar with the operating system and what it has to offer in terms of cybersecurity. It's also really important how to navigate the command line and terminal and things of that sort because those skills will definitely come in handy in your first entry level role in cybersecurity security. Windows and Linux are definitely one of the most popular operating systems when it comes to cybersecurity. So having that experience and background is definitely going to come in handy. So I know what you guys are thinking, Ben, you're naming a bunch of these different skills, but how can I actually learn these? If you're someone looking to get hands-on experience, but you don't know where to start, I have the perfect thing for you. Zero to Mastery is an online learning platform that has hundreds of courses that cover everything from Python and web development to AI and machine learning to DevOps 
and of course, cybersecurity. The cybersecurity career path not only teaches you all of the fundamental skills you need to become a cybersecurity professional, but also gives you hands-on experience building real-world projects with not 10, not 20, but over 32 projects to show off to employers. Plus, you'll also get a certificate of completion to add to your resume and LinkedIn. But my favorite part about Zero to Mastery is that they have the largest and most active online community with over 400,000 fellow students that you can learn alongside with. They also have a community of instructors and TAs who can help answer any question when you get stuck, and trust me, it will happen. The community is broken up into different channels based on programming languages, learning topics, and career questions, so everything is super organized. And if you're not sure where to start, Zero to Mastery has a career path quiz that will give you a personalized step-by-step -step roadmap in order to reach your goals. If you want to check out any of the courses that I mentioned before or the career path quiz, be sure to check out the links in the description below. Thank you to Zero to Mastery for sponsoring today's video. So in order to build your hands-on experience, platforms like Zero to Mastery, Hack the Box, and Try Hack Me are gonna be the best ways in order to get hands-on experience. You can also consider building some beginner level projects in order to demonstrate your skills and understanding and also show them off on your resume. There's so many different options when it comes to beginner level projects like a home lab, firewall configuration, or setting up a sim. So now that we have the hands-on skills out of the way, the next step is gonna be certifications. Whether you like it or not, certifications are a huge part of cybersecurity as they're a way for you to demonstrate your skills and your knowledge when you look to get your job. And ideally, you want to pair your certifications with your hands-on skills and build those together. So you want to start off with beginner level certifications like the Network Plus, Security Plus, and then from there, start to build on some more advanced level certifications that are more focused on what you want to do in cybersecurity, whether it be the defensive side, offensive side, GRC, or anything else. And make sure you're intentional with the certifications that you take and understand if they're able to help you towards your end goal. So now that we have the hard skills and certifications out the way, these next few that I'm going to mention right now are some things that you can do that don't necessarily involve 100% cybersecurity. These are some extracurriculars that you can do in order to separate yourself from everyone else. The first one is going to be content creation. The reason why I mentioned content creation is because it's a great way for you to get the spotlight on you. You want to increase your visibility, you want to increase your reach, and that leads to more opportunities and connections. So examples of this include things like a blog, a YouTube channel or a LinkedIn page. And some content ideas include things like maybe documenting your experience at a conference, documenting your journey breaking into cybersecurity, doing write-ups on different labs and CTFs that you've completed, doing tutorials to help beginners understand different concepts in cybersecurity, posting your different achievements and milestones throughout your journey in cybersecurity. There's so many different options when it comes to content creation, but these are all a great way for you to increase your spotlight and reach when it comes to your network. So speaking of networking, that is going to be the next one on the list. Networking is extremely huge, whether you believe it or not. Having different connections and knowing people that work in different parts of cybersecurity at different companies can really come in handy and lead to opportunities that you don't even know about. This means going to different conferences, conventions, and meetups to meet with other cybersecurity professionals or other people looking to break into the industry. You can also look to join different online communities on Discord, Reddit, and things of that nature. And if you're still in school, make sure to check out different clubs because a lot of those people in those clubs have the same interest and ambition as you and being surrounded around those kind of people is going to be really good for your development. Next is going to be having an optimized resume. You want to have concise and impactful bullet points when it comes to listing your experiences. And whenever you can, make sure to quantify your achievements wherever possible. Ideally, you also want to tailor each of your sections so that it includes keywords that are found in the job description. Also, make sure to mention any of the skills that you've learned in your learning journey and also any tools that you have hands-on experience with. I could go way more in-depth when it comes to resumes, but I'll save that for another video. And last but not least, one of the biggest ways to differentiate yourself from everyone else looking to break into cybersecurity is going to be through internships. Internships are so important when it comes to landing your first job because it shows that you have professional experience. So if you're still in college, make sure you prioritize landing an internship and applying to as many as you can when it comes time for recruiting. A lot of times if you do well within these internships, you also get a return offer to return next summer and eventually leads to a full-time job offer after you've graduated. I could also talk forever about 
internships and how important they are and how I landed my first internship, but I'll save that for another video. But with that being said, though, guys, that is going to be how I would get ahead of 99% of beginners looking to break into cybersecurity. If you guys found this video valuable and helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also, if you want some more short form content and lifestyle content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. With that said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.